Hello and welcome back to Battle Tech. We're gonna be doing a fairly spicy mission, I think. Um, let's try and get Decker back. I actually wouldn't mind getting our. Yeah. So the Argos, I don't know. I don't know if it changes the look of the Argo. I feel like it didn't look like this when I started. But uh, anyway. Let's go ahead and hit that contract. I'm a little bit worried about a three skull. Um, this could be warranted. Um, this might warrant a, a a load if things get really bad. Okay, this is pretty good. Um, probably should try and I guess I could level up. Uh, Dra uh, Mandrake. See if he can level up a little bit. Receiving you. Yeah. And he can get that sensor thing already, which is pretty good. Drink Sorry, she. Um, we could swap out for someone else. I think that everyone else has some XP to spend as well. Um, take gunnery, for example. Big Simple is waiting on that next gunnery. Um, could take Guts, but I don't think that that is necessarily... Like, they can they can get sustained 4 max injuries, and they also have the Cockpit mod, so I don't think it's super necessary. Uh, Glitch is waiting for a while. Um, she could maybe take some more Guts. Eh. We have Toro... Who can is it is there someone who can only take three injuries? No, everyone can take four. I think that that should be the minimum at this point. So let's go back to our contracts and then hit this clash of the titans. We're gonna do three of thirteen. This is a not terrible payday, but I have a funny feeling it's gonna end in um, some, you know, scrapping. Um. Kinda, I mean, we could take Mandrake again, but I kind of feel like we're gonna need all of our best hitters. I don't know, that's that's not a good way of looking at things, I think. Um, Lancelots require both a mech and a warrior. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, we could take someone new and train them up. Let's just take, let's just take Mandrake again. Okay, I'll do a pause here for the uh, loading screen. All right, hoping, fingers crossed, that this doesn't get us all killed. We're near where the engine signature was detected, Commander. The enemy unit should be in this area. Remember that this is a big mech we're tangling with here, so be careful. Yeah, I'm a little worried. A little, little, little worried. A little bit worried. We do have tons of forests to cut the damage output. I'm hoping it's just the one. Actually, honestly, if it's just one mech, that would make me wor more worried because if it's just one mech, then they probably have the damage capability of like smacking something. What do you mean an 80 ton vehicle? What do you mean? Oh, is that our target? That's our target. <laughs> okay. Well, that's really disappointing. That's actually the worst case scenario because that means this thing is going to have like crazy damage output, but we're not even going to get a cool mech part. We're going to get nothing. The most we can hope for is that we get a, a weapon. There's another dropship coming in. Cool. Oh, wait a minute. They're not Torian? The other assault mech joining the party. I'm guessing it's about to get hot down here. Okay. That's actually good for us. <laughs> that means there's a uh, other targets on the field for you know to, to get hit We're gonna go ahead and reserve glitch and then we'll do a sensor lock on something. Ooh, a wolverine, huh? I, I really appreciate the wolverine like trying to take the hit first Trying to take the shot so we can go in and hurt it What is this? I mean, it's got it's fully armored. That's gonna make it kind of a 
like really difficult to to kill but we'll try um actually i don't want to reserve uh, use up our precision shot with that we'll use it uh, for behemoth We are still going to need to hit that vehicle. Oh. Okay, that was the 40 ton. Waiting for orders. 95% chance. Look at that. We'll go for the head. Acknowledged. Nice. Pilot. Yo, we killed it. That's a kill. We killed it. No way. <laughs> we killed it. Wow. Holy crap. I did I not that. expect that. The Marauder has just like earned a new newfound respect for me. Um, I'm going to go ahead and reserve glitch. We want to hit something else. So it would be good if we could move up and uh, sensor lock something. We should be able to sensor lock that vehicle and we would like to do that. And we just got that ability for this character, so. Sensors locked on. A demolisher. Waiting for orders. We do not want to be in the range of that thing. I don't even know what it has, but it's got two LB10X. Okay, so I'm a little, I'm, I'm off. I'm, I'm very much off on my assumption that we're not going to get anything cool. Those are weapons I've never seen before. Got it. We could potentially get those. It's going to be uh, a few hits to take that thing out though. Oh God. Oh Jesus. Uh, our cats pause on the field commander. Let them take the blunt brunt of the fire and we should be able to clean up whoever's left alive. Well, what do we got? What do we got over there? Uh, 55, 25, 30, 80. There's an 80 to Oh, that's another vehicle. God damn it. Why does it, the game just, uh, very much want, you know, is getting my hopes up for nothing. Coordinates received. I'm going to continue laying fire on this demolisher. I don't expect it to die. Yeah, that's going to take a lot of hits to kill. We got a Jenner. Honestly, would really rather not that our Centurion take any hits, if possible. Roger that. Okay. So, I mean, there is the possibility, I suppose, of, like, destroying the head. I never really considered that. If we hit it twice... Fire. Then there is a chance to just kill, destroy the head. <laughs> um, I don't know if you can damage the, like hurt the pilot more than once. Like if you hit the head more than once in one attack, I don't know if you can damage them again. So that's something worth considering. Uh, I actually think our current setup with the uh, Marauder isn't bad at all. We hit the head again. We might be able to take that Marauder out. This, uh, our, our, our team is, a uh, officially, um, they are now assassins. <laughs> Mech assassins. Yo, we did it. We, we killed the head again. Yo, th that was just luck. Oh, God. I didn't know it was aiming for the Centurion. So that's a new weapon. I haven't seen that one before. Oh god, we're only hitting it on the on its right side, and so therefore we're not probably gonna kill it because all of its armor is still on that side. Oh we did kill it, nice. Okay, that's something we don't have to worry about. Why are you guys going for this the poor centurion? I didn't do anything to deserve that. Um, we're really in a bad position right now because everything is on our left side and we're like just kind of ca caught in this pincer. We're, there's no opportunity for them to like 
you know attack the other team we're probably gonna kill the other team like now honestly i'm just gonna sprint <clears throat> let's just sprint away going full throttle. and then hopefully they can take out what's left what is that i haven't seen that one before an assassin that was that's oddly timed i didn't i don't think i saw that thing before i called our team the assassin okay let's yeah armor low let's sprint away god the only thing that's left is the poor centurion Ah, oh, the Centurion is so slow. Moving fast. That's its top speed. That's a good reason, honestly, to uh, try and upgrade from the Centurion. What's up, boss? I'm gonna continue to sprint away. Going full speed. I just want, I don't want to have to take out that last thing on our own. And besides, I actually think... Oh my god, are you kidding me? That really sucks. <sighs> okay. Well, I'm gonna have to kill you now, assassin. Okay. Um, yeah, we're just gonna do some basic fire. I'm not gonna try anything fancy right now. Good to go. Moving to position. Ninety-five percent chance to hit is kind of wild. Critical hit. Knockdown. Pilot injured. They do get an automatic pilot injury if they get knocked down, which is kind of nice. Wow, they really have a hate on for the Centurion. I don't know what it is. Standing by. See if we can't get a kill on the, on the Assassin. Probably I don't need to hit it in the head. I think its torso is like primed to kill. Copy that. We missed! We missed! Honest, there was like a 96% chance to hit. Well, they, they took it out. Maybe No, they didn't. My God, this is like really frustrating right now. Just going to do missiles or um, medium lasers. Conserve some of our ammo. Okay, now I'm going to sprint forward. Build up that evasion. Going full throttle. Give them something to shoot at that uh, has some armor. Commander? So they stop trying to go for the Centurion. Uh, I'm going to do a split shot between these two. I, I, I'm going to do a split shot between these two. Sometimes the interface in this game just like straight up doesn't work. Hello? Hello? Can, can we can we do the thing I want to do or Okay, I'll, I'll, how about I move first There we go, maybe I maybe I was not in the in the a, a good range to hit them Okay, let's do like that and that this also um, Cuts their both their evasion I'm going to run away. Why? Just why? Oh god, this sucks. This sucks because the positioning on the enemy second group of enemies coming in, like guaranteed we had to fight everything. Ready for 
We should be able to take that shadow hawk pretty easily. God, it is not a good day for like I thought I could hit the shadow hawk. I just moved so I could do that, but never mind. Um, let's try and kill the urban mech. I'll, I'll hit it with nah, let's just hit it with this. Got it. Miss, okay, that's fine. can't remember what that is, but oh, it's a commando. It's got an insane amount of uh, evasion right now, so never mind. Just do a basic shot. Nothing too fancy. I just like, I don't want to use up our precision shots so that when someone who can make a good use of it is, you know, up to bat, they're not all spent. Nice. Commander. Aye, aye. Yeah, I mean, we may as well just keep going for the head. It's fun. I like this now. This is this is uh, this is me now. Yo, there it is. It's fun every time. I love it. We still have that 80 ton vehicle to take out, and now it's got a line of sight on us. Commander. Move order received. Good hits. Reporting critical hits. I'm worried about that tank. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's like a PPC shotgun. Snub P. Wow, I actually called that like really well. Okay, we're gonna want to have. We're, we're gonna want to kill that thing as soon as possible. I'm actually gonna use a. Um, we could try and take out the the turret, but it might be better off just like shooting at its side. We definitely want to focus our shot. Not bad. I didn't expect to kill it in one turn. I kind of, I kind of want to, I want the, I want the snub PPC. Honestly, let's just like walk past and try and take out that vehicle. There we go. We might take a hit in the back, but that's okay. We've got we've got armor in the back for a reason. That's fine. Can we get another nice volley? No. Ah, we did it! <laughs> yeah, uh, it's so good. I love it. I I am so pleased with this revelation that we can just like blow the head off. Commander? Coordinates received. Yeah, let's just use precision shots to try and take oh wow, we can hit the back, huh? Firing everything I've got. Nice. Good kill, Commander. Let's get out of here and see what we've recovered. Yeah, we've recovered a lot. Nothing... I mean, like, if I can get that snub PPC, I will absolutely take that. Absolutely worth it. Worth taking that mission um, for parts. Um, I um, The other weapon that was up for grabs looks okay. I don't know. No one got injured. A couple parts got damaged, but nothing, uh, nothing lost. We could take assassin parts. I don't think I want assassin parts. There are 55 ton shadow hawk parts. 
the wolverine wow like look at all the parts right like we could just build a wolverine right here but let me see uh, oh okay okay bud oh we didn't get any of this the cool stuff none of the cool stuff we didn't get the we didn't get the snub ppc but we did get a um medium plus plus laser and a medium plus 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 laser actually worth it i have a plan i have an idea in mind kind of want this plus 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 uh support laser as well we could take a mech part but honestly if you're not going to build a mech i don't see the point I'd rather take like rare weaponry We could, we're, we're also going to get a bunch of stuff, right? Uh, well, never mind. They, they gave us... Actually, there was a... Yeah, SRM 6++ is not, isn't bad either. That was incredible. That was quite a, a good time. Not nearly as bad as I, I was worried about. Um, yeah, blowing, blowing the head off a bot and then being able to salvage all of the parts is really nice um so let's have a quick look here no not mech warriors sorry um not that either mech bay what i'd like to do let's have a look at the marauder the large laser does how much damage 40 damage versus <clears throat> The medium laser, which is 35. I think you know where I'm going with this. I'm going to take off the large laser. Now, how much heat does that do? 18 versus 12. Okay, so we would generate more heat. But this thing, you can see this medium laser plus 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 has plus three accuracy. So it would be worth throwing that on there for at, at the very least. The crits are going to be better. Um, and we could throw this other medium laser on as well. And actually with the weight remaining, we could throw on more heat sinks. I actually think it wouldn't be a bad idea to, to find the uh, upgraded <clears throat> version. Uh, they don't have heat banks. Shoot. That's fine. This is, uh, this is going to be interesting though. Um, we are, we have, you know, the potential to miss with more things for sure. Uh, but like, we also have a better chance of maybe hitting the head and doing more damage. It's a, it's a risk thing. I mean, it's not better. It's just, um, a slightly different. Um, we did also get a plus plus short range missile. So let's go ahead and throw that on here. We may as well. Oh, we got two. And I didn't realize that um, different plus plus uh, weapons will differ. So let's throw one on here and then we'll throw the other one on the other one. <clears throat> we can only put two rockets on here, right? Yeah, that's that's my my whole problem with these. Now I am thinking, like I see we have room for two support lasers. We could, for only 0.5 tons, we could put a couple, you know, put a, cu a, pu a couple of these on, max our armor. It's not bad. I actually think that this would be great. Then this thing becomes like an actual like short range death, you know, death beam. Love it. Love that for me. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm pretty happy with these improvements. We're very close to getting that uh, Cyclops. If it's still there, I know that there's a chance it might not be. Let's do this Titan attack. It's, oh, defend. Oh, I don't like defend base. I really don't like defend base have discovered the base's location we need to time to transmit all the data we've gathered to a drop ship in orbit we're detecting an engine signature from an engine assault class mech closing on the base's location i really don't like protect missions 
I'd rather do uh oh god I hate escort even more honestly uh we could do it but also it's bad land so it's gonna be really bad for heat I this is where having more than just your four basic mechs wouldn't be a bad idea like having missile based mechs for when you're you know gonna drop onto a heated planet i think we should leave this area i think that it has served its purpose and we head back to this so that we can uh just make sure that the cyclops parts are still there and um we can do a mission there financial report uh i guess we'll do i'm just gonna do normal i think we're we're in a comfortable place for morale i could keep building on it for sure but it's just so expensive at this point um we could do another ship upgrade this is 70 720,000 intended to operate at a much higher total power throughout throughput than the jury rigged conduits can manage replacing all of them with high capacity cabling unlocks the ship's full potential um we need beta pods for this we probably need beta pods oh we can improve our drive this might open up some of the uh, extra zone travel time to and from jump points reduced not bad why don't we just improve our morale for 450 plus one morale? Ugh. What is the point? I don't know if this is plus one morale at a rate or if it's just you get one morale and that's it. Structure. Oh yeah, we could make it look nicer. Sure. Let's make it look nicer for 400,000. I guess that's what uh, has been improving the look of it. We have a request to set up a live shooting range, Darius says in the staff meeting. Medusa says the pressure safe p target pistols aren't sufficiently realistic to keep the mech warrior's skills sharp. That said, I'm not sure if the Argo has an appropriate location for that kind of thing. For what? An indoor firing range? Dr. Murad tilts her head, her bro brow furrowing. I believe that I can find a spot in Gamma Pod. It's still a mess over there anyway. Use an armor plate as a backdrop. Yes, it should be fine if they're careful. Your mech warriors are careful, aren't they? Set up the target range. I, I, I'm just worried that if I deny the request, the morale is going to get hit. <laughs> Medusa's ex-military. If he's running this, there shouldn't be any real risk. Darius, make it happen, but stress to Medusa that final responsibility lies with him. As soon as he gets the go-ahead, Medusa starts organizing the shooting range. The mech warriors produce a wide variety of small arms, from some of which rather stretch the definition. When Darius catches Bug toting a gyro slug rifle and explosive ammunition through the corridor, he calls Medusa in for a heated dressing down. Afterward, the shooting range becomes pistols only and locks appear on all gyro slug rifle cases. Well, I, I don't mind if Medusa has low morale, as long as we don't lose morale. I'm going to do a pause. Um, so we can get to that mix next mission a bit quicker. All right. Let's check the store. Black market. Um, aw I'm seeing awesomes. I'm not seeing. There's a crab. Oh, it's Cyclops parts. There it is. Um, okay, cool. So the Cyclops is still available, and the it's still affordable as well. Um. So, do I have enough to buy it now? I don't think I do. Which sucks. That's fine. Um, we're gonna do a mission here. We'll do. We might do a couple missions, and then I want to buy that Cyclops. And then at that point, we should be able to take on pretty much whatever we want. Um, 
I'm not saying like five star missions, but like certain. Oh, a mission that actually helps the pirates. Heck yeah, bud. Heck yeah. I'm cool with this. Uh. Yeah, we'll do it for two of nine. That's actually pretty decent. All right, let's um let's swap out Mandrake for someone else so that we can train up someone else like Toro. I think the dragon is a pretty good vehicle to throw them in. Um, yeah, this seems like a good setup. Oh, we're in a polar uh, biome as well. Yeah, this is ideal. We might stick around, especially if we get some more pirate um, missions, then I can actually improve, uh, potentially improve my relations with them enough that the um, Cyclops becomes even more affordable. That'd be really cool. I'm going to do a pause here. All right. Facility our friend wants us to capture. Oh, the facility our friends want us to capture is just ahead. Oh, god damn. That sentence really threw me for a loop there. We should be able to get our get eyes on the base and look at its defenses. Clear out any defenders and let's secure the place and get paid. Let's get to fight. They'll probably have turrets. Totally fine. Um, yeah, not seeing anything yet. There's a 35 ton. That is absolutely fine. Moving out. We only have the one mech. I actually kind of feel bad for them. And a reserve glitch. Glitch is the only one I don't want to go first. There's a fire starter. Yes, yes, I know. Twisted fire starter. Okay. <laughs> There's a facility. Looks like it's got a single lance defending it. We're seeing some additional units in the region, so watch for possible reinforcements. I'm still reading enemy contacts, Commander. You need to secure the area before you can proceed. All right, that was just to cut its evasion. I'm actually going to go uh, with Glitch next to further cut its evasion, and then maybe we can just, like, blow its head off. And I want to see how that... How our, um new setup performs thirty five percent chance Firing pop pop Whoa! yeah <laughs> I'm that is just gonna make my day every single time it happens I love it I love it I mean, I've doubled down on accuracy with that medium laser, so it just gives us an extra little bit of uh, extra pepper on on the on the shot. So if if the helmet is a bit more armored, um, you know, we can we can make do. I could have probably done a sensor lock with some one of the other mechs but i'm not in a hurry javelin oh javelins i haven't really seen too many javelins oh they're uh one of these kind of humanoid looking mechs almost close enough to use our support guns standing by <laughs> yo is he gonna get the headshot is he gonna get the headshot? Pop, pop. Pop, pop. Nope. We did blow off both of its arms, though. That was kind of fun. Good to go. I like that. I, I can settle for blowing off both of its arms. I feel bad for these things. They're just like little scout mechs, and I'm just like reveling in their destruction. Uh oh, they fired back at me. Now I all guilt is is uh gone. I'm actually, I, I will split our shot here, as well. I don't think we need much to take out that little thing. Uh, it's still alive, surprisingly.
and can still sort of move around all right now check check this out now we've got support lasers on this thing punch oh never mind yeah <laughs> we do a, we do a little right after the punch okay will we get the headshot though do you think we'll get the headshot oh no we won't because i have to well we we might pop 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 nope i did hit the head though and i knocked it over apparently and that injures the head again so honestly at a certain point i might just like start collecting mechs there we go Heads up, Commander. You've got hostile contacts inbound. oh yeah Got Where? Oh, over there. Uh, that is a 30 ton mech. I couldn't possibly care. Let's just like make our way over to the base. Okay, we got a th another 30 ton mech. This is not a hard mission. I guess this is a, a really simple mission. We're just honestly doing this for pirate reputation, if anything. Receiving you. I'm honestly just going to make a sprint for the base. I, I don't like nothing on the field scares me right now. Full speed, no target. Okay. So what do we is that another javelin? Wow, they actually hit me with that much uh, evasion. Waiting for orders. Wild. On my way. Um I mean, yeah, let's uh I, I I'm only splitting my shot at this point to like kill their evasion. Uh -huh. It just opens up things a bit for us and you know mostly opens things up for my <laughs> my marauder to get some headshots oh you get wow the spider comes out of nowhere and punches me i do i will say i, I like the design of the spider i'm not a huge fan of the humanoid looking mechs but it's something about the spider is just like really cool like super dynamic Okay, but y you know I can throw a punch as well. Engaging physical attack. Pop. Oh. Oh. <gasps> oh, I thought that was a kill. I thought I just murdered it with a single punch. Okay, we got a shadow hawk. I it does it oh it has evasion. Shoot. I was gonna try and get a headshot on it. let's uh let's just try and like kill something try and kill the uh this javelin here Locking on. yo it's cooked um yeah, I mean, sometimes like like I don't really care too much if I don't hit things. I just like to lob some stuff over to try and uh, cut the evasion. Okay. Same for glitch. Nice thing about glitch. I mean, um, you know, I'm not really doing too much damage with her, but since I can, you know multi-hit like three things at once as long as we can see them we can we can throw something at them go like this and then like that and then pop and throw throw missiles at everyone you get some missiles and you get some missiles and you you get some missiles oh that thing actually hurts a little bit Let's try and kill the Shadowhawk. 
That's like the the worst thing on the field right now pop pop there it is Yo, this is a uh, this is actually starting to feel a little bit overpowered <laughs> I am uh I'm afraid that it's actually going to cheapen the experience of the rest of the game Try and kill that spider spider is dead SRM 6 crit We've got some really decent weapons um, We've got some really decent mechs. I feel like the, the we almost don't need the Cyclops at this point The only thing is um, the reason I care so much about the Cyclops is because it's got so many so much room for missiles uh, I think it would be a really good replacement for the Centurion. How is that thing standing? That. I'm not gonna waste a precision shot on this thing. There we go. One less target. Is that the mission over or is there more? Base is ours. Cool. All right. Um not a bad payday but we'll probably want to do at least a couple more missions maybe one more if there's a decent one yeah i mean that's that's fine well look how we're gonna have so many parts up for grabs <laughs> let's um unless there's something really good yeah i'm not seeing any like plus pluses there's a heat bank i would take that honestly let's just take two shadowhawk parts and then we can build and sell a shadowhawk for more money might honestly sell some extra weapons that i don't need i don't know if i'm going to be making any um doing anything with flamers i don't know I'm not sure um but yeah let's sell some extra weapons sell some stuff and then i'm going to buy those cyclop parts and that's going to be a very good replacement for a centurion I have finalized the details of our trip to our true commander with luck the, the map dr murad discovered will lead us straight to castle nautilus the contract is ready for review in the command center okay ah uh, the oh look at the wait no the argo isn't upgraded yet why does it always look a little bit different to me i guess it's the lighting okay um me think for a second uh let's first of all sell that shadow honk and um then we're gonna sell some storage parts like locust parts commando parts I want to be flush. I don't want to do this and then feel like, um, you know, a squeeze. I can sell the assassin part. I don't think I'm going to be using an assassin. Trebuchet parts are tempting. I'll sell the hunchback parts. I don't think I'll be using a hunchback. Enforcer. Um, we'll sell centurion parts. We can now, like at this point, um, yeah, I'll sell the trebuchet parts. I, I do, I would have built a trebuchet at one point, but not, not any longer. Um, we'll sell griffin parts. I don't foresee myself building another griffin. What about this quick draw? Oh, the quick draw. Yeah, I mean, uh, we have a quick draw pending. So if I want a quick draw, but we also almost have a another dragon. So I don't know. The quick draw is quite nice. We could sell the Warhammer parts, but I, I, that's a 70 ton. Like that's actually viable. But, um, you know, we're good there. We can sell some components. Um, 
sell a couple ac2s we can't we can't sell components can we i guess not we go to the store let's see what we can sell oh we can let's sell a couple ac2s i know i'm like really pin pinching all my pennies here but you know for good reason i, I really want to be flush I'm going to keep LRMs, all of them. I'm going to keep all LRMs. Uh, we'll sell all of our SRM2s. Uh, I'll keep a couple. Okay, I won't sell all of them. I, I, I don't feel good doing that. Uh, I'm going to sell all of our AC2 ammo. <clears throat> so that's pretty much it for that. Um, yeah, let's sell our AC2. I guess I could sell our AC2+. plus. Uh... Like, we can always rebuy ammo if it's a problem. What about equipment? What can we do for equipment? We could sell some of our 79 jump jets. Look at that. That's almost a, a whole mech right there. I'll keep some jump jets. I'm definitely not going to sell all of them, but I don't need 79 of them. Similar, Similarly, I don't need 52 heat sinks. I'll keep 30. I, I Those are a little bit more necessary. Okay, so now, black market. I swear to God, if it was, like, not there, I would be so upset. We also have a 100-ton atlas that we could actually afford. I don't want to get distracted. Um, where's the Cyclops? Okay, I, I don't know why I thought the Cyclops was missiles. It's actually lasers. The king crab isn't bad. And then I finally get my crab. It's got room for four missiles. So actually a viable long range. It really seems to like auto cannons, apparently. Um, and there's three parts here for the king crab. So that is viable. Then there's the victor. I, 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 and like, I don't want to honestly entertain anything less than at least 95 tons or 85 tons. There's the battle master, which is lasers again. It's weird to me that like a fully built battle master is more expensive than just like, it doesn't even come with anything interesting in terms of weaponry. This just seems like a balancing error. Um, I let's go for the king crab. This is like a car dealership talking me up from like the reliable model to something a bit more pristine. New equipment available. One of the most heavily armed and armored mechs ever constructed, the king crab quad zero is capable of massive burst damage. A pair of heavy close range auto cannons form its primary weaponry backed up by range weaponry to fire as he, as it closes distance. Right, but we're not necessarily going to build it like that. I kind of want to just slap four LRM 15s on the thing. So let's see what we can do. Like it, <laughs> right now it's got two AC 20s um and an lrm 15 i mean it's it's impressive to say the least we only have one lrm 15. let's take off the laser and um actually let's just strip it for now max out the armor see what we can do for i guess we can't put just lrm 15s on it because it they would not actually fit we could put two lrm 10s but then, like, this thing's entire weaponry is on one slot here, and I'm not a huge fan of that. We'll put some LRM ammo on here. We're going to need a lot, um, so let's just, like, plan for four minimum. But honestly, I would probably rather do, like, six. Uh, we could do, like, five. And then, yeah, I guess we could consider doing an AC, couple ACs. 
I'd rather do a couple ACs rather than one AC 20. Although the AC 20 is pretty, no, it's, it's, it's too much. It's way too much. Even the AC 12 or AC 10 is, is a bit too much. Can put a coil M on this thing. Honestly, I'd kind of rather just put four medium lasers on it. Like that's good. That's really good. There's absolutely no reason. And then we could like go even harder and like put some machine guns on this thing. Actually, this thing has room for four machine guns. Actually absurd. Uh, this thing is kind of insane. I kind of want to put a... Mm. I'm starting to question this. I actually think that this thing is a way better bruiser than it is in a long range. Let me explain. If I was to put, um... Four SRM sixes on it. It would be uh, an insane bruiser. Like, don't get me wrong, I really do want a long range thing, but the fact that this thing can actually take it, it can take everything. Like, it's it can just hold everything. Um, tells me that it might be a much better close range <clears throat> uh, tank or mech. Like, I could put four SRM6s on here. And then four medium lasers. In fact, I could even make some of these large lasers. I could make two of them large lasers. Um, then we could put like a ridiculous number of heat sinks on the thing. Actually, let's put that ammo on the feet as well. Okay, we're not even close. We're not even close to, to filling this thing up yet, right? Um, we've got the, am oh, we don't have the ammo sorted because we need more SRM ammo. Actually, let's put the heat sinks in the torso. And then we'll put one, two, three, four, just to cover our bases. So we've got the ammo sorted. Um, I actually think maybe one less SRM and one more MG would be good because that's enough for both. The heat sinks are good. Um, we could... You know, we can't put any jump jets on it. At least not without buying better jump jets. What kind of jump jets we got? A. Mix 90 ton and heavier. Yeah, we could buy... Oh, unlimited? <clears throat> Let's buy... Two... Three... Four. Okay, I mean, we don't need... I guess I didn't need four of them. This is good. This is, like, really, really good. This is an insane mech. Um, max out the armor. Bring that back. And the only thing I'd like to change... Um, and I guess I'll change it in... Uh, how long is it going to take? 18 days. I mean, it, yeah. Is I'm going to take out one of the cockpit mods... Uh, or sorry, the, <clears throat> the cockpit mod. Actually, you know what? Can we just buy another one? Not seeing another one. All mechs come equipped with a stock targeting and tracking. Oh, extra, extra, uh, accuracy. Wait, really? Increase accuracy when attacking with ballistic energy or missile weaponry. That's really cool. Why is there two different kinds? Oh, I see. This is energy? Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna buy that. New equipment available. Um. <laughs> okay, hold on. Um. We're gonna need to buy another cockpit mod. 
there's no there's there's no changing that um what i'd like to do first of all we're gonna put that accuracy mod on this it says i can put it on there even though i totally cannot um let's put this in the torso that's gonna make it i didn't realize this, this actually weighed more That kind of sucks. Um, I'm gonna have to take off a heat sink for that. Does it generate heat? I don't think it does. Okay, this is fine. I'm already having to switch off my weapon, so I don't think that ex one extra heat sink is gonna make the difference. Um, I kind of think that we should retire the Centurion for no replacement, actually. Um, it's kind of weird, but I actually think that that would be the right move. What I'd like to do is maybe swap out one of the... Can I, can I do this? Refit. Uh, I'm going to do this. I really wish it hadn't undone everything. Uh, what I want to do is throw on the coil M. Oh my God. I didn't realize that thing was so large. We're going to put on the coil M, a large laser, and two medium lasers. How heavy is that thing? Three tons. It's really not that heavy. Um, then we're going to put on all of our machine guns. The, re the reason I'm doing this is because since I'm getting rid of the Centurion, the Centurion has really served uh, a great purpose, which was to cut down on the evasion. Even when it couldn't, uh, it could no longer kind of take mechs out. It was a great, it was great at taking things out. Um, in terms of like cutting the evasion, it was still serving uh, a really good purpose, but now it's not going to be able to serve that purpose. So uh, instead, I'm going to upgrade the the crab with the coil M because this thing um, actually benefits from evasion. We'll have to do some like turning off and on of various parts, but I think that this will work out quite well. Um, so I'm going to put on three MG ammo and we're going to put on three SRM ammo in the feet. And then we're going to put on heat sinks galore just everywhere. I have, like there were, there's no way we're going to be able to mitigate, you know, our, our heat, but I'll try and then put on two jump jets. I guess they can be there. That's fine. Um, max out our armor. It's just a just a tiny bit underweight. I don't think that there's anything else I can put on here that would, you know, make sense. Um, so I'm happy with this. It'll just be underweight. That's fine. 1.25 tons underweight. That kind of sucks. We'll figure it out later, though. Um, that's going to do it for this episode. So we've got a king crab. I love this a lot <laughs> and we're basically going to be rolling with three bruisers and one like sniper assassin that like can potentially just kill things um that i've improved the accuracy even more on the marauder so it, there's it actually has the potential to like completely wipe out even a fairly heavy mech so that's kind of really cool uh, i'm really enjoying how this game is developing uh, if you're enjoying this series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.